Well, we are back at Gailey's Marine in Bakersfield, California. We're here talking with Steve Mann. He's an expert in all these boats. And we are looking at the new 2022 G23. It's a lot to say. Yep. And uh, man, this thing's beautiful. I love the all white and uh, kind of similar to last year's model, right? Yes, yeah, not a whole lot of changes because this is a new body style. Same body style as the Paragon, same exact hull design. When they went to this body style, we did widen the bow almost by a whole foot. Whoa. Uh, so not from this point, but in the very tip of it. So a little yeah. bit more room up in the front of the boat. Um, I really love the cool styling down the side. I love the uh, geometry on this. Yeah, um, it's probably a really difficult boat to pull out of a mold because of all the angles. But when you're building such a tall boat, if it's flat on the side, it's not very strong. Okay. You know, there's a lot of boats out there that you can kind of walk up to the side and just push the side of the boat in. So yeah. having all those sharp angles to it like that creates uh, structural support. Rigid. It makes it more rigid, exactly. right? Yeah. And it looks cool too. I mean, they don't need yeah. to do big logos or any vinyl graphics down the side. It's got a very unique look to it. Yeah. I love this white boat right here. And am I wrong? Like, do you save any money by going with white or other colors or no? Um, not really. With Nautique, you do. Um, the um, deck color especially um, is a very expensive upgrade if you do anything other than white. So okay. um, yeah, and then Nautique boats, you do save some money doing white. Um, the metal flake, we have black metal flake across the back. That okay. is an upgrade there. Uh, we got two-tone tower. Yeah, let's take a look at this. A slight upgrade for the two-tone tower. This is the horn, right? We talked about that yeah, on the other the boat. Horn, this is the horn. And then, um, vent for the front ballast. Yep. So all, I love of the our, window. all of our ballast pumps in from the bottom, yeah. and then when we're draining it, pumps out from the bottom. Mm -hmm. So the vents you see on the side are basically just a vent to push air out. And then if we overfill the ballast, you will get a little bit of water trickling out. But okay. um, with the sensor system and the timers that are built into the ballast, we generally don't see a whole lot of water pumping out of the boat. Yeah, so this is that black flake we were talking about. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you, man, if you have a chance, if you have a choice between regular black, like glossy black and this, you want this. Yeah. Because this hides every, this hides water spots, it hides small scratches. Yeah. It um, is, and it looks black. I mean, when you're standing next to it, I mean, you may not show it here, but it looks like black. I, I think, mean, I think the water spots are probably the biggest thing that the metal flake hides because uh, when you have that perfectly flat black surface, it's a mirror. Yeah. And any wave, anything, that's on anything it, on it, it's going to show. You see all that. So yeah, the, the metal flake looks great. And when it hits the sun, it pops out and gives the boat a little bit more character. And, yeah. um, everybody loves spark. And then when the space. when the dust hits it, you can't really tell. That's the yeah. thing on a block when it does. You know, one thing too, I just want to look at, this is a heavy duty trailer, man. I was just yeah. looking at it. I was like, dude, this thing yeah. is huge. Boatmate trailer, um, triple axle. Uh, we did the um, LED landing strip lights. Oh, that's cool. The tube there. Yeah. So when the boat or when the trailer drops down into the water, those lights are going to kick on. Yeah, that's great. Um, this one, we actually, this is not real common on boat trailers, but we added a electric over hydraulic braking system. Really? So trucks that have a brake controller, you can actually use that now because it's not a surge system. Whoa. So we see a lot of issues with, with people that are trying to back up a hill. You know, and, and either their light plug isn't making connection yeah. or the solenoid that overrides the brake lockout goes yeah. out, you know. So that's been a bit of an issue in the past. And these boats are so big and heavy. Yeah. If you're doing up and down hills or going down a grade down a hill, yeah. your brakes are on. So right. this allows you to use a brake controller. And it is uh, a little more expensive to have that option. But I, I think with a boat like this, it's a better way to go. All right. Very cool. Let's wrap around the back. Very cool tower. This is the, is a manual tower, this one, or this uh, the- Oh, no, this is a power tower as well. Yeah, looks yeah. nice. I love this, man. So they've incorporated some upholstery to the outside. It looks cool. Yeah, and, and that's some of the minor differences between like a G series and an S series. This is all hand-stitched vinyl wrapped. And if you look at the S23 here, we have C-deck on the side. Yeah, So right. just minor differences. Yeah, very cool. Gas, can you fill the gas on both sides or just one yes. side? You yep. can, okay, so this is the, yeah, all right. Yep, gas tanks are located in the floor where it's nice and balanced and yeah. we have a fill on either side, so. So the back system, of course, this works with a slide plate that comes out, mm -hmm. right? Works kind of like a gate where the water gets kind of packed in here. Correct, it's gonna it's divert gonna... the flow of water mm -hmm. and uh, creates a delayed convergence point. So right. that's how we get a really strong barrel in the Nautique boats. Yeah. And our previous Nautique G series, the plate was roughly this big and now our plate is oh, wow. about double the size. Has it changed so, the wave a little bit too, compared to yes. what it used to do? It did, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. And the, the boat itself is a little bit bigger. So for the G-Series, they added a supplemental ballast option. Mm -hmm. So instead of just having tanks in the rear and in the front, we actually have 
additional tanks in here now as well. Wow. So. You know, one of the things, I know some of the older G20, like a 16 or something, had kind of a, uh, a curb to it a little bit on the wave. It, has that changed a little bit? Yes. It does. How, how, what's different about like a wave now and like a 16? Uh, like we, we don't have that little bit of curb or shelf or lip. Everybody kind of called it something different, but um, it's much smoother in the front of the wave and just a massive barrel in the back. Yeah. Uh, we were running one the other day, and I mean, the, the barrel in that thing was like this big. Like, yeah, it's stick crazy. Stick your whole head in it and not yeah. get wet. So, All right. Um, yeah, just displacing a ton of water. And um, the way that Nautique set, the, the boat is a displacement hole. So instead of adding a bunch of ballast to slam the back end and shoot the bow to the sky, um, the boat sits much flatter. And kind of the way it works is if your boat's like this, your surf wave's like this. If you can flatten out the boat, that's gonna flatten out your surf wave as well. So when you're in the boat, a lot of times the waves don't look, you know, extremely big. You know, it's like, oh, it's, it's a nice wave. It's got a lot of barrel and a lot of shape to it, but it doesn't look as good as my buddy's whatever he's got. And then you go out there and you're 20 feet back behind the boat and like, man, this thing's got so much push. I'm slammed on my back foot and I still have enough push to surf forward. Yeah. So, and with the additional weight, I mean, we can, bump our surf speeds up to 12.8 miles an hour and have a 30 foot long wave to work with yeah so it's been killer yeah this back section looks pretty polished out i'll let you kind of wrap around here this is pretty cool yeah so um this is the steering assist thruster um if uh people watched our previous video on the s23 that thruster looks a little different that one just allows us to thrust left and right this one is actually tied into the steering system so with the steering assist on, as you turn the wheel, it will apply power to that and help us turn tighter. And you can use that during normal operation? Correct. So like wake surfing, I go down the middle, I flip that, I do a 180 and I go right back down the center so I'm yeah. not catching my waves. Yeah, so. and, and you're turning within you know two foot of your rider. You don't have to worry about them missing the rope or any of that stuff. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. Nice big surf pipe. Nautique was the first to come to market with the surf pipe. Um, we do have an exhaust relief here. That was kind of designed so that we weren't getting cavitation through mm. the thruster if the boat wasn't moving forward. Yeah, pretty bright LEDs on the back. Mm -hmm. Underwater lights there. Big, um, they call this the NCRS, the Nautique Configurable Running System. Mm -hmm. That is basically a plate that's built into the hole. Okay. So it's not a plate that's added onto the back of the boat like everybody else does. It's actually configured into the hole design. And that plate is gonna help us get up to plane. It will actually stair step. So as you take off, it's gonna go down so the boat can get going. And as it moves, it'll go up and then back down, up and back down. So the boat can kind of work its way up to the surface of the water. How good are like the stock like adjustments like compared, like I know a lot of people like to fine tune their own custom stuff, but like is someone gonna be able to go in there and just put like wave medium left and or whatever it is and yes. have a pretty decent wave? Yep, and, and even at that point, because those settings tie together our center plate, as well as our surf plate and ballast as well. So if you wanted to use a mellow wake surf setting and then add more plate to it, you could definitely do that or less plate to it. And as you do that, this plate will move as well because they are tied together for oh. the surf and wake setting. Yeah, that's good. So, um, yeah, so less adjustment now. It used to be two separate adjustments and people would be like, hey, I'm a zero here and a five there. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't really know what to do. Let's just put it on three and three and hopefully it's good. Yeah. So now it's all tied together. So on wakeboard settings, we have a zero to five scale. On surf settings, we have a zero to 10. Okay. And on the dash itself, um, unfortunately we don't have batteries in it yet, but uh, we'll do another video. I can show you that. Maybe we'll go out on the water. Um, but as you dial that wave up, it will show you on the display how your wave is gonna change. Yeah. Going from kind of mellow and flat to just having this big giant curl into it. Yeah, very cool. Now the back seating, of course, always good stuff on this stuff. And uh, yeah, looks pretty comfortable. Yeah, nice seating on the back. Um, again, we did the stern shade. So we got the little sockets here for our stern shade poles yeah. to jam into if you're just out lounging around. A very nice, comfortable step from platform to the rear cooler to the engine compartment and then the same size step down to the seat and then to the floor. So it's yeah. a very natural walkway where you're not taking a big step and then a little step. You know, one of my favorite observations, I see your sign here, it says, please take off your shoes, right? And then I pan here and someone yeah. has stepped on here with their shoes, right? Yeah, well, Is that common? Yes. Okay, very, yeah, I figured. I, um, something about people that can afford expensive boats don't know how to read, I, so I know what it is. But. Yeah, so I'm gonna follow you in there. Let's take a look at the inside. I know it's pretty tricked out, so we'll check that out. Yeah, absolutely.
So the one thing about these back seats, it looks like you could ride back here while the boat's in operation, but I don't think you're supposed to, right? Or what's the tech? Uh, no, uh, technically, so that, that all depends on where you're at. Uh, okay. Out in Florida, you can kind of do whatever you want. You all see right. people surf, yeah. surfing and somebody sitting back there all the time. Um, but um, out here in California, when the boat is underway, we're supposed to be in the boat. So even sitting up here like I am, you could get a ticket for something like that. You have to be down inside. The what are the fumes like right here? Probably not that bad, right? No, because of our surf pipe, we don't have any fumes. Okay. So, of course, the classic Nautique walkthrough. This is like one of their trademarks here. Um, anybody, yep. If you've ever been on this boat or any of the Nautiques that have these walkthroughs, everybody's envious of them, man, if you, this ain't your boat. Yeah, it's nice and wide. It's recessed. So if the boat is rocking, you don't feel like you're going to fall off of it. Um, and again, it's a natural step from here to the seat to the floor. So yeah. very easy to get in and, in and out, nice and stable. We also have the big landing pads here on the outside on the G-Series. Okay. So when people are stepping off of the dock onto the boat, they that's can smart. get here and then to there and then in the boat. Yeah, that's good. I like it, it doesn't always work that way, but that's... That was the point of it. And I do like and the black upholstery. That's cool. Big deep storage compartment. Yeah. So we got some hooks here to hang life jackets or ropes. Oh, that's neat. Um, flush your port here so you can hook up your water hose there and run on the water hose without having to crawl underneath and put a fake lake on. Yeah, that's really nice. And this ha does this have that special material right here? It does. So you probably, oh no, it doesn't. This is just no, a standard black No, this is one. not true weave. Um, this does have the anthracite material, which yeah, is kind cool. of a cool look. Yeah. Uh, but we did not do the true weave in this one. Yeah. You know what's nice, man? I, it, it never gets old, the uh, sea deck, this whatever color they call this on this white, man. That always looks good. Yeah, I'm a fan of Mocha sea deck, even in boats with a gray interior. Um, I feel like this just adds a lot of pop to the inside of the boat. Um, kind of designed to look like teak wood. Um, you know, it, a lot of times when you have a boat with gray upholstery and gray gel coat and gray floor, it's just very kind of washed out. So this adds a lot of character to it, I think. Yeah, very cool. I'm gonna step down here and we'll make our way towards the front. Of course, you got the pop-up seating right here. That's cool for the lounge. This comes back, obviously, yeah, right? that'll slide forward and then the, this seat here will flip up to give you that rear-facing seating in the middle of the boat. Yeah, that's fun. Yeah, really cool, man. Actually, this is kind of a nice feature too, that when you pull this forward, we still have a decent step from there. It's not oh, a big yeah. drop down into the boat. Right, so, and that's access to the transmission? Access to the transmission, and they put a little tray in there yeah. that you can store some things in there so it's not wasted space. So. Yeah. Now the speaker system looks pretty nice. It's a little bit, the boys had good sound systems on these things, right? Yeah, this is all JL audio equipment. Um, that's, not Nautique is, very into doing things that nobody's done you know and everybody's like oh let's do a, a custom speaker grill and instead of the plastic grill let's paint it or do a billet grill or something like that noctique said hey let's just jam that thing in there and build a whole nice cover piece to go over yeah. the top of it yeah so, i one thing i like you about can see a, like a lot of the chromax down in here on the inside with yeah. c deck yeah. around it you know just just to add a little more there it's not just a, oh, yeah. a plastic panel we got that hand wrapped. And you got the LED lights right around mm -hmm. the around yeah. those cup holders. We have our hand wrapped uh, grab handles there. Just yeah, that's really it ties nice. everything together. Yeah, it's really nice. They don't. They definitely don't skimp on any of their upholstery stuff for sure. It's always been good stuff. This is like high end. I mean, God, that is like solid aluminum, right? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. The, the bimini brackets are very sturdy. Um, the way this is designed, you can see like on the outside right here, this little release pin. Mm -hmm. um, the way it works, when the tower goes down, it's going to go down backwards. Okay. It's the rear of the boat. Yeah. And when it does that, the bimini would be sticking straight up. So these pins will release it and allow it to drop down and cover the inside of the boat. Oh, wow. Okay. So if you wanted to tow with the tower down so you're not getting bugs and everything all over it, the bimini is down inside the boat. The windshield is basically your tallest point at that. Yeah, very good. This is all high end. Of course, man, I love that. That black on white looks so good. And this is pretty nice too. So this is a little bit different. This is actually upholstered, right? Correct. It's still got that same as like the sea deck, but it's upholstered. That that is so slick though, dude. Man, that's high end. Yeah, and then we got a defroster vent here in the windshield. Defrosters? Mm-hmm. Whoa. So that's tied to the heater. So we have a heater vent down yeah. there for the driver. That'll pop out. And then one right here for the cockpit area that pops out and then a defroster vent if you're out in a cold morning. Um, a lot of people like to sit up really tall. I prefer to be behind the windshield, but when it's all fogged up, you can't see anything. So that's yeah. been a nice added point. Uh, we got heated driver's seat, heated passenger seat. 
Yeah, what that's else really cool. With this one? I mean, this we kind of threw everything we could at this one. It, probably going to be our only stock boat of the year as yeah. far as the g series goes this is pretty cool i know they got their uh let's take a look at this this is all high end yep so um this is all hand wrapped here custom stitching c deck down inside this one does not have the phone charge okay. uh, ports it's an option though. in there um it's down here it's standard on a g and you just okay. get the one for the driver but someone could you order that with that or no unfortunately no no uh, okay. but it's an easy enough thing to add if somebody wanted to get yeah. a wireless charger we could wire it up and throw it down in yeah. there of course this is the stereo right this is the deck yep yep and jl uh, head unit here this is our uh button for the heated passenger seat oh really yeah that's crazy and the compartment of course they always have a lot of storage this is like a trademark of this boat so this is this storage compartment is a little bit different than the previous g series where it was recessed mm -hmm. uh, now we have um this panel it's right there yeah. and we have batteries in there oh okay. so the paragon gets three batteries so you would have two there and then one back here oh, wow the g only gets two batteries so one in there and one in here okay you know typically this would have one 10 inch subwoofer in it um, with the wave front package you go to two 12 inch subwoofers so one there one underneath the driver's helm and then you can see our amp board back there is a real nice finish to it so we yeah have it's nice a 10 channel amp on the left there for the in-boat speakers, mm -hmm. an eight channel amp next to it for the four tower speakers, and then another amp up on the top to run our two subwoofers. Okay. So, a lot of power. I got a comment recently like, man, 13 grand in stereo upgrades, that sounds like a lot of money. Like, It is, but it's a lot of power and it sounds great. Yeah, so. right, yeah, very cool. And is there different options on the stereo? Is it one? Um, in-boat stereo is standard with one 10 inch subwoofer and six in-boat speakers. The wavefront upgrades your sub to a 12 and adds an additional 12 and an amp to power it. Yeah. And the speakers in the dash and then tower speakers are an option. Right. You know, one thing I like about these boats too is like when you get off the gas on a regular boat, mm -hmm. sometimes you get off the gas and you get blared out by the stereo where this one adjusts the stereo yeah, the, with uh, the throttle. The auto volume option is built into the dash system so you can turn it on or off. But yeah, when the RPMs go up, the stereo is going to go up. When the RPMs come down, the stereo is going to go down. Yeah, super smart. And if you don't like that, you can turn that off. Right. Of course, these seats are... This whole, this whole sitting area looks like a Formula One car. You got these super beefy <laughs> steering wheels. I mean, you can't even wrap your hand around the whole thing. And then you have these bucket seats that allow you, your leg to come in when you sit sideways, but then have a lot of support if you, if you want to just ride it regular, right? Yep, and then we have our oversized bolster flip up here. Yep. So if you want to sit taller, and then this is the actuated seat, so we have buttons here mm -hmm. that'll slide it forward and backwards. Oh, wow. okay. And then we have the ability to pivot the seat if you wanted to spin around and hang out all day. Right. This front area, of course, one of the trademarks of this boat is the wide seating. And of course, no different this year. Man, that's a lot of seat room, right? Yeah, nice and wide. Uh, wider for uh, the new body style than it was previously. Uh, we have the bow filler cushion that has C deck on one side and cushion on the other side. So mm. you can flip that over and have more of a play pin. Yeah. And then we added the uh, bow armrest as well. So you can hang out with your armrests out. Yeah. Um, this has the pocket door. So instead of a plexiglass wind dam, the pocket oh, door Oh, that's so out good. Across. High end. Yeah. And Never have to worry I, about think, storing it. I think one feature that is probably most people's favorite about a G is in this compartment here. You got your drop-in cooler. Yeah. And you can take this out. I mean, even this, they don't build this cooler, but it's got Nautique logo. It's got C-Deck yeah. to match. But that tub is also insulated. So you could take this out and fill that. Full with ice, ice and, and stuff, drinks. Yeah. You can fill this and the one on the transom. Yeah, so that's so good. Definitely ready to party. Yeah, that's fun, man. I love it. So these ones right now, you got one here in stock. This one's not spoken for yet, right? Correct. Yeah. yeah um, working something on it right now, but uh, we'll see. I got a demo uh, just after the first. Um, we have a G25 slot that's available and a Paragon 23 slot that's available. I know it's limited getting these boats. Like if someone wanted to get one, let's say, oh, I'd like to get one going. How do they do that? They, they call and they have to get it started uh, or? It kind of depends on what they want. So if, if somebody said, hey, I want a G25 and I have that build slot, we basically take a deposit on the build slot so that it's reserved for them. And then we figure out the boat colors, options, pricing, all that sort of stuff. Mm. Um, and then when the boat comes in, obviously we'd have finance approved before we build it and all that. But uh, when the boat comes in, we go put it together, we do our water test, take the customer out, show them how to use it all. 
wrap up some paperwork and send them home happy. Yeah, very. Um, it does depend a little bit on what they want. Like if somebody came in in March and said, hey, Steve, I want to order a G23. If I don't have a build slot and I can't trade one of my other boat build slots for a G23, at that point, we would just have to say, hey, we're going to have to order you a 2023. They start building in July. We'll have a 2023 by mid-August. Yeah. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of going up. <laughs> yeah, so you definitely want to lock in now the way things are going. So I have a feeling this boat next year is gonna be a lot more expensive. Well, even even this year, um, we have boats that are pre-sold and we keep getting price increase notices. And unfortunately, we have to call those customers and say, "Hey, very sorry, there's added surcharges. Your boat just went up by thirty five hundred bucks." <laughs> <laughs> it happens, man. It's a crazy and, and world. We're, we're pretty easy going about it. If somebody really got upset about it and said, well, that's not right. I'm not going to buy the boat. We don't control that. Here's your deposit back. We'll sell the boat to somebody else. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's crazy times for sure. Before I let you go, I wanted to show this like uh, control area here because it's always really cool. I've actually used it before. It's really neat, the, the, all the controls, how yeah. this all works. Yeah, they call that the helm command. And basically, it's a rotary knob that as yeah. you spin it, it will scroll through what options are on that page. It's also a joystick where we can arrow up or down, left or right. Mm -hmm. And then the keypad here, these are uh, quick go-to buttons. So if we're in a ballast page, we could hit the home button and go right back to the home screen. If we wanted to turn our stereo up or down, hit that, scroll up, hit that again. So very cool, easy to use. I've found that everybody kind of figures out their own way of how they like to do it. I use a combination of the helm command and then once I'm to the page I want to get to, because I can do most of that without looking, once I'm at the page I want to get to, just go straight to the dash and turn a feature on or off. Yeah, so. very cool. Well, thanks for showing us this. We're going to come back. We got some other stuff coming down the road. We got some Supras and Moombas we're going to take a look at. I'll come back on that. I got, uh, we're wrapping up these two videos that we've done. We did the S23. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. That's actually a really cool boat, yeah. something unique. Well, we need to get on the water too. So, I'll yeah. Make a point of getting a hold of you and yeah. we'll do that. That's cool, man. I can't wait. All right. Thanks for showing it to us. All right. Thanks, Billy. All right. This is Steven, this is Billy at Be Tough.